winning number, guys. This is the winning number. Hey guys, so I just competed in the NPC Southeastern USA up in Orlando last Saturday. Today is Tuesday of the following week, so I did this show about nine days ago. It was my third show of my 2023 season, and it went really, really well. Um, at first, I wasn't sure that I wanted to drive all the way up to Orlando and do the show because I had originally thought that I was just going to stay kind of local. Um, my first show we drove to in Punta Gorda, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to make another drive. On top of that, my family wouldn't have been able to come with me, so I would be driving to Orlando by myself and doing the whole weekend and then returning on Sunday. Um, so my immediate support system was limited, although I did have show friends there and then a very good girlfriend of mine lives in Orlando and we had made plans to go to dinner after the show. So with all that being said, I was still kind of on the fence. What made my mind up for me was the way the Diamond Classic went the week prior. That was my second competition. Um, it went so well and I was kind of riding a high. I had this momentum. So I thought, why not go up to Orlando and compete? Um, I was feeling good. The Hilton where the show was taking place is super luxurious. I, as an athlete, felt very pampered and cared for. Ty Pope was helping Chris Eady promote the show and that was special to me. All of those reasons along with this potentially being my final season on stage, I just wanted to maximize my confidence and my momentum and my leanness and all of the things. So I did do the show and it was my third week in a row competing. So what I did was Friday afternoon, I picked up my kids from school, dropped them off at home, and then hit the road immediately. Um, I got to Orlando right around 5.30, kind of rolled into the weekend, checked into my room, went to athlete check-ins, and ate and chilled out in my room, relaxed. Saturday morning was the show. Pre-judging didn't start till 10, and then Finals started at 5, but it was a smallish show. So we were on stage by 11.45 in the morning and roughly 6.45 at night. So the show was done by 7 p.m. And then my girlfriend was in the audience. She came to finals and we ended up going out to dinner. But all day I hung out with my show fam and just enjoyed the experience and just kind of tried to soak it all in. Um, the way Florida works is it's split up into three parts, South Florida, Central Florida, and North Florida. And the teams that expedite and produce the shows in South Florida do not do the same for Central and North. So I wanted to have a Central Florida show on my roster for this season. And this one fit the bill. So that one was like a check off my list. But also it was super, super special to me. So follow along. Here's my journey to the NPC Southeastern USA bodybuilding show. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. It took me a little bit longer to get here from Fort Lauderdale because I drove in rush hour. It's Friday and I had to pick up my kids. So, you know, life happens. And anyway, I'm here. I got here um, right at like 530 went straight to the desk, checked in, went, and then from the desk went straight to athlete check-ins. And uh, this is a Tim Gardner show, so uh, TG Flex was there. And then I got to see Ty and Joanna Pope, which was such a lovely experience because that was my first show ever, um, their show back in July of 2022. And, um, and then, of course, Deke Warner is here. I saw PCS, Phil, PCS Photography, who I will be shooting with tomorrow. And, um, and then I got a goodie bag. So um, everything is set. I feel really good. I have two meals to eat and they're pretty large because I couldn't eat on the way here. Um, and I'm just gonna settle in, unpack a little bit, go get my tan at seven o'clock and then I'm done for the night. I'm exhausted. I have water to drink, which is very exciting because I've got a little bit of a headache and um, I'm just psyched for tomorrow. So 
Tomorrow should be good. This hotel is luxurious. There's a ton of events happening here this weekend. There's a bunch of people around, and there's like a tennis event, and a, a youth group thing, and a lot of fit people walking around, and young people, and the energy is high, so it's kind of it's kind of amping me up for tomorrow. Um, I just feel very excited. I'm very anxious and a little nervous, and but I'm ready to go have fun and just enjoy the stage and do what I came here to do. I'm gonna practice some posing tonight, um, but the rest of the work is complete. There's nothing more for me to do. So uh, that's where we are. And let's do the goodie bag. Okay, so I got a better angle here. Here's the goodie bag. It says Southeastern USA, because that's the name of the contest, Southeastern. And it's one of the, uh, the stronger little bags. Um, water bottle, Southeastern USA. A little note, a thank you for being part of this. Thank you for being here. Um, okay, so they had these Eat My Cakes and Cookies 2 company that was offering, I think it's a cinnamon cupcake. It's, it looks amazing. It looks delicious, and I can't wait to have that. So I will be taking that to the show tomorrow to eat it immediately afterwards. More flyers, things to do. I'm actually considering this show. It's in two weeks, and um, more flyers. Florida Flyers. Got my waters. Those are not from the contest. Okay. Ooh, the good stuff. Okay. So we have. So we have sour candy. More sour candy. Some kind of a cookie that's broken, but I can't smell it. It looks delicious. It's like soft and it's got um, maybe M and M's or something in it. Looks really good. Then more chewy candy. And we got five hour energy, which I don't drink. Somebody else will be getting mine. Okay. Ooh, cookie dough Twix. That I will eat. So cookie dough Twix. Two of those. And I got my shirt here. Southeastern USA, it's great. It's uh, red and it matches my shoes. So I love that. And then finally, the best for last, can you see? 133, lucky number 133, tomorrow. This is the winning number, guys. This is the winning number. I'm riding a high right now. Um, really hoping for the best of course you know whatever happens happens it's not in my control but I got high hopes so lucky number 133 tomorrow and of course all these treats to uh, to partake in afterwards with I'm gonna give Claudia some because I'm not gonna eat all that so um, now I'm going to settle in probably have a meal go get my tan, and then call it for the night. I'm actually very tired, so once I finish my meals and water, I'm going to go to bed because I, I have a feeling that I'll be up super early. Prejudging is at 10, so I don't have to be up super early, but my body has just been waking me up around 5, 4.35 o'clock, so here we go. Good morning. It's show day number three. I slept horribly last night. It's a good thing I got a lot of sleep during the week because last night was terrible. I was having nightmares about eating too many Oreo cookies, um, popping um, chocolate chips, popping chocolate chips in my mouth during dinner and not tracking them. Um, I had a fight 
Like I got in an argument with someone, my cortisol went through the roof. I mean, all kinds of, I was up throughout the night. Not good. Um, and then I woke up this morning and I, a surprise went to the bathroom. So that was a, obviously a nice surprise. And now I'm two pounds less than I'm supposed to be. Well, technically three pounds less than on stage, but two pounds less than I was willing to go on stage with. So now I have to eat into the show, which is like not a terrible problem to have, but not a great one either, because now I have to monitor myself pretty closely and I've got to do my hair and makeup. So I have things to do. Um, but I'm going to start with a cup of coffee and try to wake up and then start on my face and eat my first meal. And I think there's going to be a second and third meal too before I hit the stage. So that's where we are at the moment. Mentally, 10 out of 10. Physically, not so much. <laughs> Hopefully in a little bit, I will feel better. Number 132.